Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we'll be looking at the Hourglass Coven, which is one of the coolest cards from the latest set to hit Arena. It comes in, it creates two other Warlocks with random abilities that you'll choose on the fly. The way I want to abuse this is just Panamonican. It's the simplest way to do it. It comes in, doubles the triggers. Another great way to abuse the triggers is to, once it dies, resurrect it. So you can do stuff like Blood for Bones, um, and you've also got Bond of Revival, which gives it haste as well. Elders Reborn can resurrect, and Liliana as well, and also Witch of the Moor. So there's a lot of ways to resurrect it from your graveyard. So when it dies, don't put it back to your command zone because you'll regret it. And then you'll be able to revive them with all your cards. The deck is essentially a good stuff list with loads of black protection spells like Thought Seize to get rid of stuff out of your opponent's hand to protect your Hourglass Coven. But it's super effective. I've used this for quite a few games now and I've really enjoyed it. It's just mega powerful. If you want to use the deck, check out the deck list below. Copy it, give it a go, tell me how you think. Leave this video a like and a subscription if you want to see more content like this. And as always, check out my Kofi donations page if you're so kind. Let's get into the video. Okay, now this could be an interesting matchup because if they use Lagrella on our Hourglass Coven, it will re-enter. So it may mean that the Hourglass Coven is safe from exile from the general, but we'll have to see because they can still give their other creatures ETP triggers over and over again. Lanora Elves comes out to play, but before killing that, I think I want to ramp a little bit myself. They always say Bolt the Bird, which is to say kill the ramp spells, but... Damn, okay, turn two over here. So now we kind of want a board wipe, but we are getting closer and closer to that Bullets of Citadel. So I think what we'll do is we'll pass a turn and see what they'll do. If they don't do anything aggressive, we could just go for Blood Pact. If they go for something aggressive, we could kill it with the Heartless Act. Let's just say a Questing Beast, for instance, but I doubt they're doing that post combat. So they're choosing Lagrella now. Okay, let's see the targets. So they're going to go for the Overseer, so basically that says draw a card. Not even bothered about that. That's a hyper-aggressive play. Nice. Three, four. Okay. So maybe now we just go for Liliana, start milling ourselves, and then we can get zombie defenders into play. So remember, this angel way. doesn't come back until Lagrella leaves. So it's almost like, I mean, I guess they could flicker the Lagrella to make us lose the zombie. So yeah, that's a good shout. She is good against tokens, I'll give her that. So flickering her is probably the best thing they can do here. If they attack, um, what's in the yard? No creatures, so yeah, I'm happy to just absorb some of this. We can got? just make another zombie mill something else. If we do get crazy good stuff in the graveyard, I'll start protecting Lily. Double Swamp is kind of irritating. Four, five. Now they've got three mana up, and that is pretty sus. So they're thinking about countering the Hourglass Coven, but we're not going to give them that. We're just going to go for everything else under the sun first. Callous Blood Mage, I'm going to... I'm going to draw. Ooh, bonus Hunger. This is delightful. This is a lot better, though, once we have the Ascension trigger. So... We don't want to use that just yet, I don't think. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Although we are ascended, aren't we? So they'd sack half their creatures, round it up. Which is two creatures. See what they do here. If they attack, I'm going to double block, I think. No skin off our nose. Double bamboozle. So this does mean they get the angel back. But I can't really see how that's a problem. I mean, yeah, they've got a flyer now, but we can just easily kill it with the power word. Oh, no, it's not Angel. Fair enough. So are they going to go for Lagrella again, I wonder? Or maybe something more sinister? Passing the turn. Yeah, let's just use our mana and make them sack two creatures. Any combination of these I'm definitely happy with because they can abuse any of those triggers. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's only nine now. Yeah, they, yeah, that's a shame. So it's only one, isn't it? Yeah, that was very ill. Although, seeing that... So you have to cast a spell to get Ascension. Oh, I see. The game doesn't just record the fact you had ten things. Okay. Fair enough. Massacre would be sweet if we could resolve that. But they've got six mana open, which... 
I find it highly unlikely that we're going to resolve anything. Ooh, that's a great card. So, this has even got counters on it, hasn't it? So we can't even deal with this. Let's try and draw some cards, because this is a 4-3, and that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's play a land. Let's try and put the ghost form on the Liliana. So if she dies or is exiled, she will return to, f to play, which is really cool with me. That's tickled them a bit, isn't it? They're thinking, hmm... Well, they're really thinking about this one. Sublime Epiphany. And we can't even kill it. Oh, man. So they counter, they're going to bounce, they're going to get a copy, and wow. Quite the blowout there. They must have been very um, pleased with themselves, let's say. Although now we could just go for the Meteor Massacre, kill these two. So I like the idea of getting the, ma the massacre out like this because it, you know, they had the window. Well, we had sorry, we had the window open. So we take them off two creatures, one ramp, and now we have just a passive trigger as well. Whenever a creature we control dies, each opponent loses one, which is cool with me. I just also want them to tap out because then I can go for the sit down and go yippee. Are they just going to be some kind of annoying control thing though? Thrag tusk. Man, that's annoying. Okay. Up to 32. And discarding as well. Okay, let's go for the Citadel here. So we'll leave these up to block the Thrag Tusk. I'm actually annoyed at myself that I didn't kill this Overseer earlier because it's actually kind of problematic. Four Flyer. Hmm. Deputy of Detention. That's going to get rid of yeah, I don't know about that. They could have got rid of both of our zombies and hit us for nine. Interesting. They really, 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 really want to counter this, don't they? So I'm just going to give it to them. They're so desperate to counter this. Wow. And they didn't even have any response this time. Okay. Okay. So, let us Pajuka bog their yard. Hmm, I'm very confused, really. I felt like they were leaving up the manor for such a long time to stop our guy, but then they just never did anything. Very strange. I'm actually tempted to take three counters off this because this is starting to annoy me really badly. But I'm actually going to do it EOT, I think, because... I think I'd rather just kill the deputy and get our bolus of citadel back. Because if we do take the counters off, they can just flicker it again anyway. Time wipe. Time wipe. Did not expect this. I wonder what they're gonna give it. They're gonna give us a citadel back. Okay. Oh man, I should have left that in the yard. Okay, that's fine. We can just we can just recast it anyway, and maybe we could use Lily to get back something else. Like if we got back the witch, this is actually pretty good. So they get a three three back, and yeah, we'll we'll kill this. Very curious. I feel like they gave me the game by doing that. They had pretty much lethal on board, so I could lose three life. I don't really want to. Let's see if we can get back the Liliana. Apologies for the smell. So we could even get back one of these Recruiting. if we really wanted to, but I think getting back the witch is more important because that's a scary card for them to have to deal with. And then I'm happy to seek a card with the gate here. Now seeking is interesting because I don't think it shuffles. Swords! Although we do gain life, so... Okay, fine. The, the field is clear and it's all good. Leliana can do as she do as she likes. If they go for Deputy on one of our things, we can just kill it. Yeah, it's all good, really. I'm going for Lily. I, I'm not sure about these targets they're going for. Because, I mean, there's not that much to resurrect anyway, is there, to be honest. 
Regrowth on the Thrag task. Okay, that's interesting. Aetherflux Reservoir. Ooh la la. Let's see if we can resolve this. <laughs> We're facing the Royal Scions. Will and Rowan Kenrith. And our starting hand is not too bad. I think the Blood Fast and the Black Market Connections makes it crazy. This card, by the way, is totally broken. And I think it's going to get a nerf one day. Absolutely. Let's go for the Blood Fast here on the next turn. Probably the Connections because it's just... This is stupid. The, do you know how many times I read this and I thought it said choose one? And then one day I read it said choose one or more. And at that point... My mind exploded. It is just stupendous. We're going to choose all the modes. See, I told you it's powerful. We go first against Gore Claw. Starting hand seems decent. We've got a couple of ramp, which is exactly what you want in a deck like this. Let's go for the tap land first. Cabal Stronghold could be effective if we got four swamps in total. They're already ramping on turn one, which is always scary. Out comes the Signet. And uh, Elysian Curator. So they're definitely getting the Gore Claw following turn. Well, they're definitely getting that out. I think that actually would have been a better turn for Paducah Bog, but uh, we can still go three, four, five, six. Okay, here comes the Gore. And the Ore. And the Thopter. Farrakhan's Libation. Okay, let's go for the Hourglass Coven. What modes are good here? Discard is, seems good. Mill, Exile. Make them. Okay, yeah. We'll just go for the old. Make them second, let's lose three. And then make them discard. Yeah, not not the best, unfortunately. I really wanted the one that lets you um, give something minus two, minus one. Carnage Tyrant is going to be a poopy butthole. And a Great Henge, which is a bit the biggest poopy butthole of all time. So I have to double block. Really? Although, actually, I don't actually. No, I want them to discard a card. Turn to 20. So we make them discard, and then they sack and they lose three. I mean, it's not much of a hindrance. Ooh, Primal Command? Okay. Languish. Four, five, six. We can actually just wipe the entire field here. Uh, do you know what? This is actually mental. So put this on this guy. And then three, four, five, six. Oh, damn, actually. Okay. Oh, man. I think we messed up slightly doing that. So, what we'll do is instead we will attack with these two and we'll bait them into blocking with the tyrant. I think. Yeah, damn. That was. Playing that means that I can't actually do the libation as well. Four, five, six. Yeah, that's a shame. Although we could. I mean. <sighs> Okay, it's, this could actually still work out. We'll see what they do. They just hurry up and stop holding priority for literally no reason whatsoever because they don't have any cards in their hand. Okay, let's -a go, Mario. Who's excited for Phase 5 of the MCU? What's your most. F what you hoped to see the most? There's a lot of announcements the other day. Um. You know, there's a lot of cool things coming out. Or maybe people just bored of the MCU now. Maybe there's other types of films you'd like to see. Tell me in the comments below a film that you're excited to see that isn't Disney. That isn't owned by Disney. It's a scary concept, isn't it? A film not owned by Disney. It's like the same it's like me saying buy a thing from a shop that isn't Amazon. Like the world's basically ruled by two companies, isn't it? Disney and Amazon. And um yeah, that's just the way just the way the world is. 
when our children's children grow up, there will be in a world where every shop is Amazon, even though they don't have any shops yet. Well, I think they do, actually. There'll be Starbucks, there'll be McDonald's, Amazon, and there'll be like Disney stores. Although, weirdly, um, I used to go to a shopping centre, shopping mall near, well, not that near me, but they had a Disney store that shut down. So I wonder why that shut down. Strange. You'd think that in the current climate of, you know, Disney taking over the world, that the Disney store of all shops would be closing down. So how is the opponent holding priority this long? So I can concede if I want to, but they're just holding infinite priority. That's so weird. I hate to say it, guys, and this is gonna this is gonna hurt me as as much as it hurts you, but I think I'm just gonna have to concede this. But this raises a good point. I think I've noted this before. There's an exploit in this game, and I I don't know how to do it, nor would I really tell YouTubers, YouTube itself, how to do it. But I've noticed that if someone's losing and they're not happy with how the game goes, they can do something. They can change the state of the game to make it so you just have to quit. Like, if you look at here, how this is just stuck on this timer. There, there is literally no way for me to get out of this game. Unless I just go here and then concede. So, sadly, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to concede. Damn, what a weird, what a weird and annoying game. But, there you go. Oh, wow. I can't even concede. Well, this is interesting. Well, now I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to turn my computer off. <laughs> okay, guys, well, this game's certainly a loss. Well, if anyone can answer this, maybe this is part of the exploit. I can't even concede. Graphics? I can look at settings. I'm trapped in hell. This game is inescapable. Where am I? What am I? I just don't know anymore. Swaggy P. Now, I like this hand because Ritual of Soot, but we only have two lands, so we're gonna we're gonna mulligan this, and we certainly got our lands, didn't we? So Catilda, you all know what this does: human tribal, tap, add mana, put counters on stuff. It's literally an army in a tin. Like, if you open this, it would have everything. It would have beans, egg, sausage, black pudding, pasta, cod, chips, salt, vinegar, KFC, Burger King, Wendy's, you know. So what else have we got? Abzan Falconer. That Falcon is bigger than he is. So what do we do? We could groom tutor, but what for? Yeah, I don't think we. I don't like the idea of tutoring for things we don't know what we need because the whole point of a tutor is it's like it's like a scalpel. You want to use it to surgically remove the threats. But yeah, now I definitely want to kill the Shalai. I guess we toot for a Ritual of Soot, don't we? I think Ritual of Soot. Or a land, maybe. We'll see. Oof. Well, we could just leave up the mana. Let's just do it now. Now, I don't really know what is the best thing. Maybe a dark, dark ritual, yeah. Just in case we don't get any lands. And it's slightly more interesting than getting a swamp, isn't it? So if they go for one extra creature here, I think I'm gonna go dark ritual. Oh, okay, that, no, that, okay, that's different now. See, now I don't wanna. Man, there's a lot of angles here. You've got life gain, you've got counters land? 
Okay, it, it technically is a land. It comes in tapped, however. We can legit just make them sack that enchantment. Which is something I'm tempted to do. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just keep waiting. There is no rush yet. They've only got one threat per se. So... Maya. Maya he. Other creatures get plus one. Okay, this doesn't change the, the order in which we do stuff. She's got two pips, one, two, three, four. So you need one more pip. So now I think I'm just going to exile the Maya because this is more optimal in the odd manner. Junji. Yeah, we'll go for Junji. I'm basically trying to slow roll the big stuff as much as I can because the thing about the, the six mana cards is we want to make sure they're out of resources. Oh no, they exiled it. Okay, fine. We do gain five. Oh man. Okay, so I guess the hand was full of answers. If they play another creature, okay, fine. Yeah, I think Dark Ritual, Liliana, and then Kai's Ghost Form. So yeah, we'll make we'll make them get rid of the Falconer, because this is actually oddly quite irritating. Um, and then we'll ghost form the Lily in hopes that if they have a removal spell she'll come back. If they these don't kill it. Wow, that looks weird, doesn't it? Enchantments on planeswalkers. It, that is, yeah, that's just kind of a weird image. Here comes Katilda. The equip cost is two. Hopeful initiate. Okay, so now we hit the land. So before things get hairy, I want to make them get rid of the Heliod because we're running out of ways to actually deal with this. So yeah, that'll do for now. Obviously, we have the Liliana who can minus four eventually, but I like I like it how it is. So even if she's exiled, this is ridiculous for one black mana. A shy, that's not a human. That's not a human. Inscription of abundance. Okay, we might struggle dealing with that. Although we do draw a card. They were a lousy servant anyway. Arena's nice. Okay. Five, six, seven. Do you reckon this is time for Hourglass Coven? Probably Rise. because they're gonna have they're gonna have trample on this. So yeah, let's just go for this. And what do we want? Drain? Drain is nice. And drain is nice. Double drain is pretty cool. Leave back defense, so this is going to be at least in a 9-9 nine nine if they choose to attack with this. I mean, if they go for the Lily, it might actually be better to not block, because she'll come back. We'll see, because if we do block, then we do draw cards as well. Ajani, ay ay ay, they are pulling out all the stops here, so they can put counters on things, they can revive something. 9, that could make it a 10. Oh, I don't like I this. Lend you my strength. I could quadruple block. That's just something you don't hear very often, is it? Quadruple block. How many things am I willing to lose? See, the thing is, if they kill Lily, she comes back. And then... I can just make him sack two creatures, right? 9, 10, 11. You know what? So let's say I block all these. I'm just going to draw four cards. So you know what? I'm actually happy with this. We draw four cards. Liliana, in our turn, can make them sack two. She then immediately comes back. And then it's all good. In the hood. So I think they had to do that. But it's going to be tough for them to come back. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, Fain Death. And a Bajuka Bog. A series of fortunate events. So
so what's the priority being held for here? <sighs> Gonna be one of these guys again. Can just can I just have like a nice player? It's kinda of, kinda of sad, you know. In real life people wouldn't do this because I would just walk off and say, you know what, I don't want to play anymore. But think about digital format. People do what the hell they want, and it's just obnoxious. Because the reason it's obnoxious is because there's no punishment, you know. Even in games like Overwatch, which I used to play, even the punishment in Overwatch wasn't very good. Though, like, let's say you quit in a game in the first sixty seconds, um, the whole game would end. But if you quit after the first sixty seconds, your team would have to fight your opponent's team, and you'd be a man down, and the game wouldn't care. It'll be five versus six, which I find really annoying. And I don't know why the developers thought that was fun, because you'd be on the back foot and then you'd be forced to play that game. But the point is, it's pretty likely you're gonna lose. Out of all the games I played, which is thousands, I'd probably won, I don't know, less than 10% when I was a man down, so. They need to penalize people in this game. Like, I know they've got that 60 second clock, but why don't they have the chess clock, the 40 minute timer? Seriously need to implement that. That's just ludicrous why that's not in the game. It is for best of three, and apparently for... Oh God, this really actually pissed me off watching like a commentary. They said, we didn't include a chess clock for the 1v1 mode because it's a casual format. Are you taking the actual mick? This is not a casual format. I don't care what anybody says. This is brutal format. I mean, take it from me, I struggle so hard to make, like, new content, because the content I have to make, because my ethic, as you may know, if you've been on with the channel for a while, been around for over a year now, I try and make fun decks. Ugh, well, this was but the issue with fun decks is, they're not always tier one, but it, it appears to me that's what uh, my audience wants, as well as fun. It's, 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 it's a difficult line there's a lot of content creators out there who who only do tier one and to me that's just a bit boring because yeah I know you know you win okay sure but you never like seeing anything new are you it's just always the same stuff two three so I could use this to just get through the hopeful initiate and it seems like a bit of a waste. So yeah, I don't think I'm. Yeah, that just seems bad. I think we're just gonna go for the Hourglass Coven, and then we could protect that with the Feign Death. This is a really cool card, actually. With the board wipe, draining is good, and making the scars nice because it means they have fewer tricks to use. Yeah, we're past turn. We've got the Argos Bloodfast, which is really good in this deck, because if our life gets low, we can start sacking the extra Warlocks, which we make pretty frequently. Here comes Katilda. So now Johnny can make their guys a bit stronger. They're definitely hanging in the game. They've got over double our life. It's just we have so much support. I'll be, um, I'll be surprised if they won this, to be honest, but we'll see. Lots of triggers here. So they get rid of their sneaky card in the hand, whatever that may be. I wonder if they thought of that. Hmm, we'll see. Inquisition is pretty useless now. Painful Bond is pretty useless. Actually, no, not useless, just. So what can we do? I think we triple attack the Ajani. No, we'll actually, we'll leave the zombie back. So even if they block two, they're going to lose him yeah so here if they choose to block they choose to block this one okay fine I'm not gonna resurrect that there's no point so the loser Johnny go for solemn again more nice fodder for the Algar's blood fast I'm intrigued to why they went for the terrain I guess yeah they they know we can reanimate right so they're clever We've also got the Takanuma, so we could literally just... We could get this back either way. But we could get the Liliana back. So yeah, we'll see what they do on their turn. 
It looks like they want to take counters off to kill our stuff. And they could easily... Yeah, they could easily take two counters off to kill. Although that takes three mana to do that. To do that. So, not sure if they have enough time. If they see us do this, they might just fold. Because if I get back Liliana, I'm not sure what they can really do here. Yeah, Liliana. Minus, they sack two, we sack two. And that's a game. Okay, so it's a mirror match versus the Hourglass Coven. And we've got two ways to draw, so let's let's keep this and see what happens. Their sleeves their sleeves are really cool. I think that's a secret lair. Sleeves. So luckily we have um painful bond, which we're probably gonna use first. Or they're saying that we'll have to discard, won't we? Oh no we won't. Yeah, we won't have to discard. So let's just leave that up. Hopefully we get just a regular swamp so we can sign in blood. Clattering auger. Sure. Damn. Come on. Give us an untapped swamp. Oh, come on. That's crazy. Especially when you consider some sometimes we just draw straight up. Um... Why is this in the deck? Is it just a two mana draw card? Eh. Well, whatever the case, we're going to Pajuka Bog their yard. And then I think Sedgemore Witch, um, only because next turn we could sign in blood and then get a 1 1 as well. Davriel, the son of a gun. I hate this card so much. It is so Should OP. Know I have standards, and I've yet to find an enemy is this Gnome's build? Is this your build gnome? If you're watching this, I think it it may well be. I think when I saw your build, you you may have used the auger. I'm not sure though. Mana guardian. Okay, that's intriguing. So this has got menace, so they can't actually block. That is kind of curious, right? So they played a Davriel undefended. I'm not sure they... I don't think they knew that Sedgemore Witch had Menace, to be honest. Let's go for the Dread Presence. And I actually want to draw here. I want to keep toe-to-toe -to -toe with their advantage. Uh, it, once they get out of the Hourglass Coven, this is going to be rough. It's going to be really rough. So when this guy dies, each player seeks the non card. Oh, they got rid of our presence. That's a sad thing that happened. We can revive it if we want to. We could do actually a number of things. So if we sign in blood first, we actually get a guy, then we can sack the guy. Oh my goodness. So much synergy. Then we go blood for bones. We'll lose the guy, but we'll get back the guy that we lost. Oh my dear. And then we're going to swing with the Menache, because why not? The Menache is very effective. So they could just go for the Hourglass Coven. So now I'm thinking... God knows what I'd... <laughs> Grim 2, it would be good. Discards a card, Draining, and regular Joe. Uh, yeah, we're not going to block that. Damn. Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh boy. So down to 11. Yeah, we definitely want to deal damage to this and drain. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7. Not sure what to do here. When this dies, each player seeks a card. Okay. We could go for the Onyx. Anything we want to revive? Nothing we want to revive. We could go for the Tutor. I think we Tutor. They've got a lot of creatures there. And let me just have a look at the field. So this is odd, odd, even, odd. Odd, even. So I just could I just go for an, the exile card, right? Extinction event. Extinction event? Yeah. I think that's the thing that we think. Because we just clear most of their field, don't we? Yeah, we'll go for odd. 
So we lose one, they lose three. And yeah, we do not attack. And we, we had to do that, really, because we're at ten life. And yeah. Oh no. Reclamation. They can use two life to get back any creature. Okay, they've only got one. Will they use that to sack the coven? Okay, they exile our graveyard. That's fine. Not really bothered. And the stinger. Do they go for the coven here? They do, so they'll be able to recast that the following turn. Libation. This actually might be necessary to get rid of their reclamation, but they don't have anything in there yet. Damn, so many good things we can do. So many. I think I want to go for the Onyx, actually. I want to get a Swamp, if possible. And if we get a Swamp, we can play our Land Drop this turn, which we do. Wonderful. And also, she has Drain on her, so if we just start casting stuff. So we'll kill this thing again. We can even swing in if we want to. So I'm going to swing in with all but one, just in case they have a haste on the ground, which is unlikely, but just in case. So they're at eight, so they're nearing death. If they were at two, we could have even killed one of our own guys here just to drain them for two. The question is, do they have an answer for the Onyx? We're just trying to keep them on their toes. Guardian Idol, hmm. That doesn't seem like they do have an answer, does it? They don't know we have this Lily as well, so we can use this to resurrect the Witch of the Moors. So actually, this Lily and this Lily work together really well. Yeah, the writing might be on the wall here, unless this last three is a bond to his last reckoning. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we can get with the Onyx. Chain is Edict. It's pretty decent. Let's, go let's see what they have. So we make them sack a creature and we drain them for two. Okay, go bond of, bond of Revival, we can Resurrect and Swing with Haze, wow, okay. Ooh, that was looking quite scary, but I think Exiling other Creatures, that was, that was the move. That was the move that settled it for me, yeah, sweet. Don't forget to check out more of my videos, and also my Ko-fi donations page. You can donate as little or as much as you want.